The term bustard typically refers to a group of large terrestrial birds belonging to the family Odididae. These birds are known for their impressive size, long legs, and ground-dwelling habits. Bustards are found in various parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Unfortunately, several species of bustards are endangered or threatened due to habitat loss, hunting, and other human activities. Some well-known species of bustards include the great bustard, which is one of the heaviest flying birds in the world, and the quarry bustard, which is the largest flying bird native to Africa. These birds have distinct features such as a stout body, a long neck, and a hooked bill. Bustards display a range of colors and patterns, which can vary among different species and even within individuals of the same species. However, it's important to note that the specific coloration and patterns of bustards can be influenced by factors such as age, sex, and geographical location. The adult male great bustard has a predominantly brown upper body with a mix of lighter and darker shades. Its underparts are pale and may have a gray or buff coloration. During the breeding season, males develop white feathers on the sides of the neck, forming a distinct collar. The female great bustard is generally smaller and has a less vibrant coloration, with more streaks and modeling on the plumage. The quarry bustard displays a mix of gray, brown, and black colors on its upper parts, with some individuals having a bluish or greenish sheen. The underparts are pale, ranging from white to buff. Both males and females have elaborated black and white patterns on the wings, which are visible during courtship displays. The Hubara bustard exhibits a sandy or pale brown plumage that helps it blend with its arid habitat. The colors can vary from light grayish brown to a more reddish brown tone. The underparts are generally lighter, with white or pale buff shades. The male little bustard has a striking black and white pattern on the upper parts, with a black crown and nape, and white or light brown wings and body. The underparts are pale with a mix of white, buff, and black markings. Females have more subdued colors, with a mottled brown and buff plumage. The Arabian bustard features a mix of sandy brown, gray, and buff colors on its upper parts, providing camouflage in its desert habitat. The underparts are lighter, with a pale buff or white coloration. Bustards are generally large birds, and their size can vary among species. The great bustard is one of the largest flying bird species. Adult males can reach a height of around 1 to 1.2 meters and have a wingspan of approximately 2.2 to 2.9 meters. They can weigh between 8 to 19 kilograms. Females are smaller, usually around 0.6 to 0.8 meters in height and weighing 9 to 4 to 9.5 kilograms. The quarry bustard is the largest bustard species native to Africa. Adult males can stand about 1 to 1.35 meters tall and have a wingspan of approximately 2.2 to 3 meters. They can weigh between 6 to 18 kilograms. Females are smaller, typically around 0.7 to 0.9 meters in height and weighing 2.5 to 8 kilograms. The Hubara bustard is a medium-sized bustard species. Adult males can measure about 0.7 to 0.8 meters in height and have a wingspan of approximately 1.5 to 1.7 meters. They can weigh between 1.6 to 3 kilograms. Females are slightly smaller, usually around 0.6 to 0.7 meters in height and weighing 1.2 to 2 kilograms. The little bustard is a smaller bustard species. Adult males can reach a height of about 0.5 to 0.55 meters and have a wingspan of approximately 1.2 to 1.4 meters. They can weigh between 1 to 2 kilograms. Females are similar in size to males.
Bustards are known for their distinct vocalizations, which vary among different species. The male great bustard produces a deep, resonant, and far-carrying call known as booming. This sound is created by the male inflating his neck and throat sacs, which then produces a low-pitched booming sound. The booming call is primarily used during the breeding season to attract females and establish territory. It can be heard from a considerable distance. The quarry bustard is known for its low, booming call, similar to the great bustard. Males inflate their throat sacs and produce deep, resonant booms that can be heard over long distances. The call is part of their elaborate courtship displays and is used to attract females and communicate with other males. The Hubara bustard has a repertoire of vocalizations. Males often produce a series of guttural, bubbling calls during courtship displays. They also make hissing and clucking sounds during aggressive encounters with other males. The little bustard has a distinctive, metallic call that is often described as a rattling or bubbling sound. Males produce a series of short, rattling notes during their display flights. These vocalizations are used to attract females and establish dominance over other males. Bustards are generally omnivorous birds, although the specific diet can vary slightly depending on the species and the availability of food in their habitats. Bustards feed on a variety of plant material, including leaves, shoots, seeds, fruits, and flowers. Many bustard species have a strong reliance on insects and other invertebrates. They feed on a range of insects such as grasshoppers, beetles, crickets, ants, termites, and caterpillars. Bustards are opportunistic predators and occasionally include small vertebrates in their diet. This can include rodents, lizards, snakes, frogs, and even small birds or their eggs. Many bustard species have been observed feeding on seeds and grains, especially during the non-breeding season when these resources are more readily available. Depending on the specific habitat and dietary opportunities, bustards may also consume other food items such as snails, worms, spiders, and even small crustaceans or mollusks if they inhabit wetland areas. Bustards typically have elaborate courtship displays and engage in nesting behaviors that vary among different species. Bustards, especially the males, engage in impressive courtship displays to attract mates. These displays often involve puffing up feathers, spreading wings, inflating throat sacs, and performing various elaborate movements. They may also produce distinctive vocalizations, such as booming or calling, to establish territory and attract females. Bustards generally have a polygynous mating system, where males mate with multiple females during the breeding season. However, some species may also exhibit monogamous or cooperative breeding behavior, where a male and female form a long-term pair bond. Bustards typically nest on the ground, often in open grasslands or scrubby habitats. The female selects a nest site, usually a well-concealed spot amidst vegetation or in tall grass. The nesting site provides cover and protection for the eggs and chicks. The female bustard constructs a simple nest, which is usually a shallow scrape in the ground lined with grass, leaves, or other available vegetation. The nest is typically hidden and well camouflaged to avoid detection by predators. After mating, the female lays a clutch of eggs in the nest. The number of eggs laid can vary among species, but it is generally around 1 to 5 eggs. The female then incubates the eggs, which usually takes several weeks. During incubation, the male may defend the nesting territory and keep a lookout for potential threats. Once the eggs hatch, both the male and female may contribute to the care of the chicks. Bustard chicks are precocial, 
meaning they are relatively independent and capable of walking and foraging shortly after hatching. The parents protect the chicks, guide them to suitable foraging areas, and provide some level of parental care until they become self-sufficient. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.